Granada, a city in Andalusia with a lot of history and mixed influences from the Moors, Jews and Catholics. This makes the city incredibly diverse and the city of Granada has managed to preserve this history very well. From gypsy street musicians to flamenco dancing and from the beautiful Alhambra to all the delicious food, you can experience it all in this beautiful city. I stayed for four days and I can tell you, Granada lived up to its expectations. This is Ursus Brown Travel and we will show you all the ins and outs of Granada. The first activity to do is, of course, the Alhambra Fortress. Alhambra is a medieval palace and fortress of the Moorish rulers of the former kingdom of Granada in Andalusia. Located on top of the hilly plateau, the fortress is the face of Granada. The extensive area around the beautiful palaces is perfect for a day of wandering. The beautiful gardens with various flowers and fountains are perfectly maintained. If you want to visit this beautiful complex, there are several options. You can buy a ticket that gives you access to everything, or you can buy a combi ticket with different options. Like I bought the combi ticket to the Jardines, Genera Life, and Alcazaba, for example. If you want to go here, make sure you buy the tickets of the palaces and gardens you will definitely want to see far in advance. Because if you wait too long, chances are that tickets will no longer be available for certain areas of the complex. I will put the link to the websites where you can buy tickets in the description of this video. What I also recommend is to visit the monuments of Andalusia in Granada. With an all-in-one ticket, you can visit historical sites such as the Palace Dida Alhora, Banuelo, Maristan, and the Moorish house Horno de Oro. Definitely a must-do when in Granada. Since everything in Granada can be reached by foot, when you've finished at the Alhambra, you can descend through the Moorish quarter, Albacin. This Moorish quarter is located on a hill opposite the Alhambra. From this neighborhood, you can take beautiful pictures of the Alhambra as a whole. This quarter consists of many narrow streets and squares and beautiful white houses. You'll also find many Arab-oriented shops in this quarter. Besides the Moorish Albacin quarter, the renowned Al Siasira Bazaar with vendors selling miniatures, handbags, souvenirs and jewelry is an absolute must. Its narrow atmospheric streets will make you feel like you're in Morocco for a while. This market is located in the historic heart of Granada. If you want to buy souvenirs from Granada, this is the place to be. All the wandering and deciding which souvenir to buy will make you incredibly hungry. Fortunately, if you are hungry, you don't have to walk around in Granada too long. In the earlier mentioned Albasin district, you have many small Arabic-oriented dining options. Like, for instance, Pastelaria Andalusi Nujela, where I tested delicious sweet treats. For dinner, I ate at El Taj Halal for two nights. friendly staff, authentic atmosphere that suits Granada, and most importantly, delicious food. Another thing Granada is known for is its churches, 
cathedrals and monasteries. Piece by piece, they will astonish you with their architecture and richness. The most famous is, of course, Granada's Cathedral. This cathedral boasts an altar you can spend minutes gazing at. The details, the paintings and the architecture is mind-blowing. Basilica San Juan de Dios is the most unknown in the list, but is the gem you are looking for in Granada. The Monastery of San Geronimo of Granada is nice to visit because it is different from the previously mentioned cathedral and basilica. The interior courtyard is nice to see, but the reason what makes it worthwhile is the architecture and mural on the inside of the church. I do recommend visiting this place only if you are staying in Granada for a slightly longer time. If you are staying for two days, for example, I would visit the other hotspots first. This monastery is also the furthest away from the city centre, and I saw it as a fun and interesting addition to my stay in Granada. The last two chapters of my video include my stay and a suggestion of a beautiful place you can visit for free, so be sure to keep watching until the end. I stayed in the apartment Casa Miravel Darrow for three nights and it was absolutely perfect. The location was really top notch. The apartment is the heart of Granada and from the balcony you can see the Alcazaba of Alhambra. Plenty of restaurants nearby and the best flamenco show is around the corner. I will add a link to the apartment and best flamenco show of Granada in the description.
As promised, I would give another tip on a free-to-visit venue. Palacio de la Madraza is currently part of the University of Granada and has an interesting history. Entrance is free and it is located in the street between the cathedral and the Alcaceria Bazaar. Definitely worth a visit if you have some time to spare and don't want to spend any more money. My visit to Granada is coming to an end, and with it, this video. I had a great time here, and I hope I was able to capture a good impression of the city. Granada is full of culture, architecture, and endless history. It is one of the most underrated cities of Spain, in my opinion. If you are looking for inspiration for a city trip, then definitely consider Granada. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and until next time at Ursus Brown Travel. Thank you.